Hey guys, so I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I'm going to give you my review and give you details and like a quick what's in my bag regarding the Totem T-Lock shoulder bag. And this is a bag that I hauled a few months ago and I got a lot of interest uh, regarding this bag from you guys. A lot of people uh, commented that they had been curious about this bag. They wanted to know a little bit more about it. And I thought, well, why don't I come back in a few months after using it uh, putting it to the test, seeing what fits in there, what doesn't fit in there, and what I like about the bag, etc., etc. So this is the Totem T-Lock shoulder bag. It does come in two colors. This is black, obviously, and then there's also a saddle tan color, which is really beautiful and very tempting. And then there is also another T-Lock bag uh, style, which is more like a clutch, which is also really, really beautiful. And of course, I'll flash some pictures up here for you guys. Um, I'll also link, of course, everything down below in my description box if you're interested. But I purchased this bag off of net a -Porter. Sorry, I'm a little confused because I did a whole Totem haul when I got this and some things I actually got off of the Totem site and some things I got off of net -Porte. This I'm certain I got off of net -Porte now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so anyway, as you guys know, I love shopping there and when I saw this bag, I just couldn't resist. And I don't know about you guys, but does it remind you of that handbag company called Lambertson Truex? I used to have a clutch from them, but they had like an LT for Lambertson Truex. They had like an LT logo and they used that as a clasp and it, was not the same as this, but it just had a similar sort of vibe to it. Comment down below if you remember Lambertson because I remember they were like such the hot, like new bag. It was when, I think it was around the same time it could be confusing things. It could be around the same time that Michael Kors was the head designer for Celine, which was such a moment in time. That was when Rene Russo starred in, what was that art heist movie with Pierce Brosnan? Why can't I think of the name? Anyway, her whole aesthetic in that movie was like jaw droppingly amazing. Talk about quiet luxury. This by the way, I think is like the epitome of quiet luxury. And I feel like Totem is, a, is an incredible illustration of quiet luxury. But anyway, we're here to talk about this bag. So let me just give you some details on this bag. And I did uh, some B-roll just to kind of get close-ups of the bag and show you uh, some of the details. So the size of the bag, the height is 6.7 inches or 17 centimeters. The width is 13.7 inches or 35 centimeters. And the depth of the bag is 11.5 centimeters or 4.5 inches. The top handle drop, which is the shorter strap here, is 7.1 inches. I will be modeling this bag in a little bit so you can see like where it falls on my body. The strap drop length, so you can see here that there's like a detachable shoulder strap. And this length, uh, well, it's adjustable. So on the middle hole, it is a 12.2 inch drop, 31 centimeter drop. This is made out of 100% cow leather. The lining is 60% polyurethane, 40% polyamide. And then we have this gold tone twist lock in the shape of a T, very, very clever. Uh, and the lining is an easy to clean beige micro suede lining. I have been carrying quite a few things in this bag and I don't even feel like I need to clean it. It is a very, very kind of easy to care for material. Um, I've also found that this uh, leather, although it's uh, kind of smooth and shiny, it doesn't scratch very easily. It's not like a, like a box cap, like a shiny box cap, like the Celine bag. Um, or like a lamb skin that scratches very easily because it's so soft. It really is quite durable uh, despite the finish that it has. It just gave me the impression, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it gave me the impression that it was going to possibly scratch a little bit easily, but I have not found that. I'm not terribly careful with my things and I have been carrying this bag quite a bit over the past few months and it's really held up nicely. So aside from my Celine bag, and my Hermes uh, Birkin 25. This is probably the bag that I've been using the most over the past several months. All right, now that I've given you the specifics on this bag, let me show you uh, what I actually have in this bag. And I just wanna be clear, <laughs> the bigger the bag, the more stuff that I need to carry. Like obviously I edit down a lot of what I carry when I'm using something smaller, like my Celine Triumph bag, which is much more structured and I have to like line things up properly. But when I use a bag this size, which I would say is kind of medium, I wouldn't say this is one of those oversized totes or 
trying to think of the um, trying to think of the succession term that Tom used. Ludicrously capacious is that what he called that bag? I would not say that this is a ludicrously capacious bag. Um, I would say this is like a medium sized bag. Anyway, my point is I. I'm carrying a lot in this bag currently because I can, and I think we all do this, right? We just <laughs> kind of fill in whatever empty space there is, especially in our handbag. So let me go ahead and show you what's in my bag, and hopefully you'll get a good idea as to what fits in here. All right, so let me go ahead and open it up. Easy, very easy to operate uh, closure there. I'm just gonna stick my hand in and grab stuff. So I've got some tissues. I have a portable mirror. This is a great portable mirror actually from Ricky Loves Ricky. This lights up. I actually need to charge it up, which you can do right there. And it has this stand in the back if you wanna put it on the table. And then it also has this really cool um, handle thing that pops out and you can use this to kind of put your fingers in. Anyway, enough about this mirror. I have this Ricky Loves mirror in here. I have my wallet. So this is the circle pouch from the row. I love it because it's so compact and I just have my cards and a little bit of cash in there. And then I, I have my MiFi. So this is from T-Mobile. So if I need a Wi-Fi connection, I just turn this on and this is a device that turns the cellular data network into Wi-Fi for you. So that's a MiFi here. It's a MiFi. And then, oh, I have the Shiseido Clear Sunscreen Stick. This is the best product to use if you want to reapply sunscreen. So it just glides right on over like your makeup or whatever else you have on and it's absolutely perfect. This is the best thing, the best thing for reapplication of sunscreen, which we know we have to do all day. So definitely pick up one of these Shiseido Sunscreen Sticks. And then what do I have? I have my car keys. I have my Chanel lip balm. I can't believe this thing has lasted forever and it's still good. Look how dirty it is. And it's still good. And then I have a second pair of keys just because if I'm leaving my car with the valet, I can just leave that there. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have my City Lips uh, Plumping Lip Gloss, which you guys know I love. I have my Clay de Poe Protective Lip Treatment SPF 25. This is great. Oh, I've got readers. So, oh God, I won't bore you again with my whole long vision story. I don't need readers right now. However, I just feel better having them with me just in case. So, got readers. And then, oh, I've got some hand cream. I don't, I think this was like a free gift. This is from Wish. And then I have a pen from Lama Munia. This brings back such good memories from when I was in Marrakesh. Oh, I've got my Shore headphones. I mean, I very rarely need to wear headphones in public anymore, but like the New Yorker in me just feels like very important. <laughs> very, very important to have your headphones with you. And then I have my very important emergency pack. This is something I got when I stayed at the Cheval Blanc when I was in Paris, and they left this in the room for us. They actually left a whole bunch of these all around the room, but it came with um, face masks and antibacterial wipes and antibacterial hand gel. And now I've just thrown in a couple things that I feel like I need to have, like floss, neosporin, eye drops. This contains Dramamine, Advil, and Tylenol, Band-Aids, an extra contact lens, and a duty band. What, what do we call that, hair bands? I call them a duty band. And that is what is in my like necessary kit here. <laughs> I feel like, this is the one thing I really miss when I'm using smaller handbags because I can't, I usually can't throw this into um, a smaller handbag. So I kind of have to pick and choose what I bring. Like if I'm going out to dinner, I'll usually throw floss in there. If I'm going to be out for a while, definitely bring the eye drops. Um, if I'm traveling, definitely this. Uh, so yeah, anyway, love this. And that is it for what is inside my handbag, but it fits so much as you just witnessed and I'm just gonna throw everything back in here. So you probably noticed uh, maybe something that was missing from my bag and that was my phone. And that's because I never ever have my phone in my bag anymore. It's just always in my hand. And I used to always laugh when those micro bags came out. I don't know, they're really hot. I wanna say like last year, the year before, maybe three years ago or whatever. And I was like, what, you can't even fit your phone in here. and. All the salespeople, like their line was always, well, you never put your phone in your bag anyway. And I was like, 
well, I always want to have the option and I just never have my phone in my bag anymore. And so when I was just showing you what's in my bag, I was like, well, I don't have my phone in there. And I was like, well, you know what? That's really realistic because my phone's never in my bag. So if you notice that, if you caught that, that my phone was missing, that's why it's always in my hand. So overall, would I recommend this bag? Absolutely. You know, obviously if it's your style, if it's something that you've been interested in, it really is it's, it's so beautiful. I love how understated it is. I love the design. It feels like they thought of everything. I love the little top handle. I love the shoulder strap. I love how it's detachable. I love how it's adjustable. And, um, you know, I always really prefer bags that are crossbody because if I'm walking a lot, if I'm going to the strip, if I'm traveling or whatever, I do feel like a crossbody is the most practical, but the shape of the bag, you know, once I started using it, I don't really think it would lend itself to being a crossbody only because like I was saying, I feel like it's kind of like a structured hobo bag, which I do think is best as a shoulder bag. So generally I do like to wear it on the middle hole. I think it hangs really, really nicely. Just, you know, kind of not all the way up into my armpit, but not too low where I feel like it's kind of banging around when I walk. Um, and I, just as reference, I'm 5'5". Five five, and it's just such a beautiful bag. And I really like the hardware and how they kept it simple, but it's, it's still there. And I do like a little bit of hardware at least on uh, my handbags. So the very, very minor gripe that I have with this bag is um, when I'm carrying it as a shoulder bag, which I would say is like 95% of the time, um, I do like the handle just in case, or if I want to just put in the crook of my arm, I will do that. But most of the time I just throw it over my shoulder. So the minor gripe that I have. So when I have it on my shoulder and I'm using this um, T-lock to open, it's a little, I don't want to say it's a struggle, but it's not like, you know, like a magnetic closure or something where you just like close and uh, snap it shut. It's easy to line up the little nub into the closure, but I feel like there's a little bit of uh, finagling I always have to do in order to close this up. Like I usually have to kind of lift it up with my other hand and you know, it happens when I have a lot of stuff in my bag. It happens when I don't have that much stuff in this bag. So it's not a matter of weight. It's just a matter of this little piece having to lay flat in the hardware there in order for you to like twist it shut. So if it's like up at all, you won't be able to actually close it. But that's, I would say my only very minor complaint. So this is it undone. So because of the really smart kind of like double flap top that this bag has. I don't feel like if I don't close it up, my bag is just like wide open like some bags. Um, so I don't feel like I necessarily have to close it, but when I do want to close it, it is a little fussy. So that would be my only complaint. Other than that, I feel like it's a great size. Like you saw, I can stuff a lot of stuff in there. I love the design, I love the materials, and it's a really good uh, weight. It's not a very heavy bag. So when I don't have stuff in here, it really is, it's not heavy. I don't like really heavy bags. Bags that are just kind of like dead weights, even with nothing in there, that to me, it, as soon as I pick up a bag, if I'm interested in it, and it's like a dead weight, I just put it back. I just cannot. <laughs> I just can't be bothered with it because I just think about how much heavier it's going to be once I start putting my stuff in there. So anyway, I do recommend this bag. Like I said, I just have that one minor gripe, but other than that, I do think it has been like the perfect everyday bag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I will try and get to answering all of them, but I'm really enjoying talking about quiet luxury and talking about quiet luxury this past weekend really kind of inspired me to do this video. So let me know your thoughts on all of that as well down below in the uh, comment section and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.